Hello, welcome to today's video. We are on page number 32 of the Alfred's All in One Book 2. The name of this piece is Um Pa Pa, and we are being introduced, or just we're going to be applying the accent sign. Take a look at that accent sign. It means to play that note louder whenever you see it above or below a note. Notice the moments mostly when we play it, as you can see from the second system, we also have an accent and a staccato over the same note or under the same note, which means not only do we play that note louder, but we also play it shorter. Alrighty, let's go over the steps. We're going to clap on our lap here. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, rest. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, rest. Very good. Let's go over the note names for the left hand. The left hand will include intervals. Here we go. One, Two, ready, go. Fifth, 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 two, three, four, fourth, fourth, third, two, three, four, third, third, second, two, three, four, D, C, B, A, fifth, 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 rest. G, B, A, D, C, a G G B A D C B A fifth 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 rest. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead now and play those names, those names, those uh, notes and uh, the intervals with the left hand here. Here we go. One, two. Now remember, we're playing staccato as opposed to. Legato. Okay, nice and short. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> fifth, fifth, fourth, two, three, four, fourth, fourth, third, two, three, four, third, third, second, two. Here we go. This is when we apply the accent and the staccato together. D, C, B. tendency to do that, move your fingers around a lot, try not to do that. Try to keep your fingers still in the same position as you have been playing before with your five finger exercise. The only difference is you're putting more weight onto the hand to make these notes sound louder. fingers out like this with the straight hand. Don't be hovering about and moving your hands up and down a lot. Try to keep your fingers and your hand still in the same position as before for the regular five finger exercise. It's all about transferring weight from the arm onto the hand. Let's move on to the next one, the right hand. We're going to go ahead and clap and say the note names here. One, two, three, four. D. Uh, sorry, D. B, D, B, C, B, A, C, B, A, C, A, B, A, G, D, B, D, B, C, B, A, and here we go, D, C, B, A, G, B, G, rest, rest, third, rest, third, rest, 
third, third, and then we have a whole measure rest, two, three, four, rest, third, third, rest, third, rest, third, rest, third, third, here we go, D, C, B, A, G, B, G, rest, okay, so we are having our right hand there in G position above the middle C, let's go over these notes as we play them, mostly staccato, but those moments when we have the accent, play it louder, but still play it shorter. Do not increase your tempo, okay? Try to keep your hand once again in the nice curved position as we have it for the five finger exercise. One, two, three, four. D, B, D, B, C, B, A, C, B, C, A, B, A, G. how I played those notes louder, but I also played them shorter, rest. Now, let's go on to the next, the third system, when we have our thirds. The first set of thirds is B and G, with it just played with one and three. If you have not done so, please write your fingerings for one and three over those first intervals of thirds, and then for the next one, we have A and C, which is to be played with fingers two and four. Here we go. Rest, third, rest, third, rest, Third, third, and then rest, two, three, four, rest, third, third. Make sure that you can dial between the two intervals of thirds. One is these two notes, and the other is these two notes. Now for the last system, rest, third, rest, third, keep going. Third, third, play loud staccato and accent. D, C, B, A, G, B, G, rest. Notice that those are very loud and short. Try not to apply the accent to any other notes when it's not indicated. Only when you have an accent over that note should you accent the note and play it louder. Let's go ahead and see if we can play this together. Very slowly. One, two, three, four. Notice that at the measure, the, the third system where we have oom, pa, oom, pa, oom, pa, pa, the left hand at that moment sounded louder than the right hand. At that moment, the left hand became the melody, while the right hand was accompaniment. That's why we should play left hand louder and the right hand a little bit softer. Okay? So whenever you have those accents, remember playing them louder, making sure that they sound short if it has a staccato. And for those that just have a regular staccato, only playing it short, playing it according to the dynamic indicated. Okay, let's play through this one more time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Remember the melody here on the right hand is louder than the right, left hand. Always applies. Now loud and short. you may have is, if our dynamic is mezzo forte, and we have an accent, should we be playing it louder than mezzo forte? And I'm going to go ahead and say yes. It should sound louder, but only when it's that note that is being accented. It does not apply to every note that's, be, that's not being accented, only the ones that are. And luckily for us, all of these notes here are being accented. So it does sound kind of like a fortissimo dynamic. Okay? So remember to keep everything 
either non legato or staccato. You may have a tendency of the third and fourth systems for these these long tones here being accented to slur them. Please do not slur them. Separate them. Lift, lift, lift. Okay, and of course with the staccato, it's easy to lift. Alright, so practice this well into your tonara as well, and we will see you at next lesson.